Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we hopefully haven't run out of our Sujama, but I think what we're going to do is try, and very probably fail, to Divine Intervene back to the fort. Now that we have all this stuff, even though we can move, I think, uh, gosh, I hope the status effects are still on for the strength, but, um, okay, Divine Intervention, first let's get the Belt of Iron Will up, and hope, beyond hope, that this works, we do not have enough magic in it, ain't that sweet, um, Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes a potion down the drain. We're going to have to run back. All right. That's typical. And I said life in Vardenfell, but we are not in Vardenfell. We are in the Roth Roran region on the mainland. Let's just nab this while we're at it. Didn't step on the bear trap, did we? Anyway... Let's just go Get back to town at the very least, even though we'd rather sell our stuff at the fort. Come on. I'm getting a little, a little bit, a little bit ticked off. But hopefully we can buy more potions for our trouble. There's... Oh, great. Okay. That's how it can catch up with me. Please. Still zero magic? Fine. We'll do it this way. Oh. Our athletics increases from running while over encumbered. And we have a Kwama Forger on our tail too. Oh, come on, guy. Let's do this. Let's dance. Okay. Now that's not our campfire. We're going the wrong way. We are. That, and it's sun up. Let's do our little Sujama dance again. Why? What gives? Oh, is it because I loaded with the... No. No way. No way, no how. Did you work? There. Now you work. What did I drink besides the... I must have drank some other potion? Just not at all? We'll have to investigate that again later. In the meantime, we've got to run, run, run back to town. Because I'm not dealing with this again. I mean, yeah, I guess we probably could have hit up the Divine Intervention. Not thinking straight. A lot of excitement, after all. Just going to roll with it. Wrong stupid way again. Come on, get to it, guy. Follow that road again another day. <sighs> Don't fail me now. And then, okay. At least we'll be sure to make it back to Fort Bugbag, if not all the way back to the fort. We can drop our gear again, repair what needs repaired. Oh, yeah, we have immersive alcohol on too. So Bug Bag can get progressively drunk. It does kind of negate, you know, some of the um, ability to overdo it on the Sujama. You know, but with an actual reason, you know, other than just fancy dance phony baloney balance reasons 
Um, come on. Please get us there. Come on, the last thing we need is to be unencumbered in the water. Over encumbered in the water. Yeah, to get back to the fort before the Sujama wears off. Up there. Right? Over there. Oh, we're drunk, so we have an excuse. In character, that is. Get our gear repaired. In due time, but until then, actually, we probably need to keep our uniform on. Um, sell that grill. It's four pounds. But, yeah, come on. Um, Hundred pounds to go. Great. Um, the broadsword we want to keep. This we want to keep. This we want to keep. Doesn't look like we have much by way of pants there. Green pants on a green guy. Probably should have kept our old pants. We'll sell these pants. Okay, so we've got a skirt, no pants. Um, what else do we need? We need to ditch mushrooms, uh, a couple pounds of hackalow we got, a bunch of firewood, where's the firewood? Here. Soul gems. Soul gems. Mushrooms. Made, of course, out of mush and rooms. I don't like dropping the herbs just because I can be such a pain in the... Well, we've, we've gone and eaten all that herb. Okay, um, there goes our stock of marshmallow. Uh, let's see. Still 30 pounds to go. Uh, we're not dropping that. We're dropping you. We're dropping you. Selling you eventually. Let's see the torches. We'll sell the torches back. Yeah. And uh, what else do we got? 20 pounds to go. Hides. Meat. Pounds of pepper. And we are ready to go. I don't know if there are going to be uh, special dialogue options for being drunk while trying to do business, but we're about to find out if it affects other skill and spell checks and whatnot. What is it, friend? Probably going to want to rest up a bit actually before we try to repair our stuff. Such fine company. One would be wise to listen. That's very kind of you. Really? Okay. I'm a Bortuki. Uh, let's drop the steel grill. can make wood grills. So. Perfect. Let's sell this stuff. You have 418 gold back. Perfect. Do it. Do it, guy. Okay. We do sell a max again? 
Yeah, hey, all right. More than tripling our money to a guy who doesn't even have pants. Hot diggity. Uh, where are the other... They're in the main keep, aren't they? Same wrong turn. Swear we know our way around. Got Why rope here. My friend here. The... Okay. Okay, we're sobering up slowly. Your bidding, sir. Let's see. Let's just go sell the brandy. I probably like having that. Nothing nothing I can tell them about the Ruby Pond boys. I hope you won't take too much of my time. Do you have any orders? Oh. You're not the commander. Well. For his oh, attitude, you'd think uh, he was the commander. Okay. Oh. Right. Ah, greetings. What shall we talk about? Probably should have left that outside, but let's go talk to the commander with it instead on our person. Maybe our Khazid friend will take that. This is not the commander's place. She is... where is she? Probably in the other room there. Your bidding, sir. Oh, upstairs. Just, just kindly move out of my way, would you? Thank you. Alright. Her office is here. You are the commander. And you might have something... nothing. Orders. Uh... Athrin Liendo. Be happy to help, sure. Notorious smuggler in the region. The Halu failed to enforce imperial law, and thus it falls upon us to do the job. Go to Sebarimo. By following the road west out of Tain, then turning south onto the dirt footpath until you reach a cave. Navigate the cavern until you find the notorious smuggler, execute him, and report back to me. Well. Quite happy to help, Commander. Alright. I just gotta hide this moon sugar somewhere. Maybe the best way will be hide it in plain sight. Where's our friend? Let's see. Just hide it under the table. No one will be the wiser. If I haven't seen them open at the store or sun up. Well, we can't really get into the bunk room at this hour anyway. Not really meant to. Hmm. Aren't you a sight? What can I do for you? They seem to be getting on well. Your bidding, sir. All right. Um. Take the brandy, please. And I guess to make it fair. Do I still have the ore on me? Wait. I do. Ah, alright. Well, there goes a fair bit of our burden. And what do you have? Standard restore health? Those are the ones I sold you. I'll take them. Okay. Let's take some of the bloat while we're at it. And do you have any netch leather? You do not. No ash ends. Well, it's more than we had before, and we are at your maximum. So I am quite well, pleased we did our business. Let's get the moon sugar. Bidding, sir. Down to me. Your bidding, sir. Maybe I should just go. Be cool. Your bidding, sir. They nope. Oh, okay, they're going over here. 
sure of her. Good distraction. You know, she's talking with the one guy, then she's talking with the other guy. Yeah, they don't suspect a thing. Just coincidental. Let's get out of here. Looks like we have business to... That guy must be waiting on a scrib jelly. But we do have business here now. Comical pile of stuff once again. Let's read it. A Mother's Diary. By Gonsieti Argala. Susie's mother? Okay, in days past, when our family lived in Cyrido, we enjoyed and took for granted simple imperial traditions. Upon arrival in Morwen, I often found myself disappointed at the stern and dour -like nature of the local Dark Elves. They lacked many of our familiar customs, and when exposed to them, the Dunmer would dismiss them as frivolous. So sad to live a life so long and devoid of merriment. Rather than pardon, give in to their impassiveness, I stayed the course and tried to adapt the customs of our homeland to something our new neighbors could relate to. Some of these attempts fared better than others, but I think one in particular did very well. It would soon be Heart's Day, 16th Sun's Dawn, as anyone in Tamaril could tell you, which just so happened to be the birthday of my neighbor's son. I took Kralia, his mother and a fellow Imperial, into my confidence in planning the celebration. She was delighted with the idea. Because Cyrodelic pack animals are virtually unknown in Morrowind, I improvised on the old name, make, game, making it pin the tail on the guar. As my children and Cryolis play, Dunmer youngsters looked on in incomprehension. After a few minutes, one of the Dark Elven children inquired politely if he could play as well. Once one of them joined, a small group of others tentatively came over. I knew full well that they'd probably be instructed by the parents to do so. The children were all of House Lalu, and were likely just trying to curry favor by appearing closer to the Empire. But as my idea had been a success, I didn't think too much of it. An hour or two passed when one child complained that another was cheating. The bickering grew in volume and was finally enough to attract one of the older Dunmer. He stood silently listening as one Dunmer child accused another of peeking from under the blindfold. He sighed and without a word placed a hand across the offending child's eyes. It would be fair now if this is how you want to spend your time, he said. If only to practice my own skill, I will cast blind on whichever of you asks. The children smiled to have the odds even. I smiled myself. I had thought that the Hlalu would either permit or demand their children play, but I never expected an adult among them to be obviously supportive of it, even in a backhanded fashion. Ain't that nice? Let's just uh, grab our stuff. Mourn the loss of our marshmallow collection. We should be in good order. on our gear again. Might not even need to buy pants. Unless it gets colder all of a sudden. You know, maybe that's why alchemy is proving so difficult. Let's get our gauntlets off, our shield off. I know that doesn't actually have an effect, but while we're at it, it's beginning to rain. Maybe back to the fort. Our fort. Figure out. Yeah. Sell the stuff in tame. Magicka is just shot. <sighs> Normally it bounces back, but that must have been a quote unquote fix. From draining it to zero and then getting it back again. Now it's just zero again. Maybe I glitched it by using the potion when I did. I don't know. It's anyone's guess. It's someone who actually knows how this works could probably tell me. We have our hack low again. We do. Okay, that'll be good to sell in town whenever we make it back there. Yeah, we haven't come this way before, so you... Unpicked. Going the wrong way again. Yeah, there it is. 
our tent, our bedroll. Let's dust these up as we're headed on back. Pick up the bedroll and plop down the cushion. Make bud bite to sell icicle. Ten pounds. Not as not as bad as I thought. Oh, it's a resting mode, isn't it? Come on, come on. Hey. Not what I'd hoped for. I thought it was just going to be a sitting animation. Oh, where are we? Just be able to sit down and make some potions. You know. All right. Well, let's pretend we're doing that then. Um, okay, once more. Let's try it. Ash M. And bloat. Good. It's a fortuitous start. It's a five. Far be it for me to save scum after all. Nope. Ash yam. That's where I push down. Yep, there's control, so we'll at least get one. Good. Fully hydrated now, that's all right. Ash yeah. Blow. Ah, just when we were hitting around the lock. Alright, come on, let's do this. That's leather. Really? And there's our alchemy at thirty again. Since last time didn't count. Save scum that to keep the gem. Sword, after all, is worth more than four grand to us. Happy days, the ingredients are at least somewhat cheap. Most we can do this is... See, the bottleneck now is the Natchelither, and I think we have only five or six of those left. Sorry, folks, two episodes in a row. But I find myself unwilling to go on much further without making a sword I had a mind for him to do all along. Granted, I thought it would be absorb health, but wouldn't necessarily be in keeping. I mean, it'd be nice, but it wouldn't be in keeping with the skills of a spell sword necessarily. Although we can always um, expand those skills. Well, that's that then. Alright, we are going to have at least a little more intelligence than we had last time. Let's try this. Uh, episode 34, sword, try. Okay, we're going to have to delete some of the old ones. But sometimes I do get some false starts. Like, if this succeeds, I'm going to have to stop and see, hopefully, hopefully, you know, that this thing... It does look to be recording, but I don't... I'm not doing the right thing, am I? Okay, drag the soul gem onto bug bag. Make an enchanted item. Make an imperial broadsword. Call it. Bug bite. Spelled it right this time. Damage health. Cast one strikes. Damage health. Our chance is now... 70. Chance is now 45. Can we do it? Yes! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Damage 19 points. Cast 1 strikes. We can sell Icicle. Sorry, Icicle. You were a loyal friend. But this is of Imperial make. And... We have done it. 
Let's get the cushion in shot. Okay. Bug bag has bug bite. Let's put our bedroll down again. That way we don't have to carry it all over creation. We have our own little area of operations here. Let's go back to town and then go west and get some more bandits. Oh, I am so, so, so happy. Let's see, how are we doing? It's 10 a.m., no magic. So we'll have to use a potion or something if we want to do divine intervention. Probably sell Icicle back at the fort. Let's, let's leave it here. How are we doing on firewood? How are we doing on bushcrafting? Jeez. Um, let's try some of this stuff. What can we make? Can we make... We can't anymore. We used to be able to. Now we can't even make a sack anymore. Well, we'll have to get that up. I guess in the meantime we better... Uh, I'll hide this up in a tree or something. Because I don't want to have to carry it with us to and from this thing either. Ditch the miner's pick. Ditch that. Okay. Anything else we need to sell when we get back here? Put our gauntlets back on. And you. Okay. Could probably move into the tomb, really. Head is pounding. Oh, great. Um, yeah, okay. Not going to be a good time to do business. Still quite hungover. Someone walking around on the hill up there. And maybe it will happen across that campfire we found. Let's see, who else offers any services in this town? Water, That's the Why? census and excise office, surely. Oh, no, close call there. Another real place of business or whatever to speak of it seems. Yeah, just houses. Do you want something? Yes. Your bidding, sir. Your bidding, sir. Who might who might you be? Growing these corkbow brute? No longer have a hangover. Huh? Don't stand about. You trade? Farmer. do you have a house? Okay. Maybe we can sell a couple things here. Trade house. It's probably the storeroom. Welcome, Outlander. My freshest ingredients await you. Right, please. Are you about it? No one can beat my prices. No, bother. A smooth sugar pal. No, you don't. You don't want to trade. How are you today? Yes. All right, Shannon. What do you want? It's special, but. Doesn't help us out right now. Laid everything out so lovely in here, it's amazing. Hamum root. Hmm. Which I can guess is only like close to a carrot. Welcome, Outlander. What's My this, freshest then? ingredients await you. Rowdy Wilmus. Hell Street. 
What say you? Oh, I guess goodbye. You want something? Very well made that place. A lot of special stuff and special people going on, but nothing Bugbag can really partake of at the moment. I wonder what happened to that did we sell that sack? We used to put the moon sugar in. Your bidding, sir. We must have done. Oh. I mean, the chest, at least hopefully maybe the weight of the chest has probably gone down. There's another lantern out near town. Where are our instructions? Nothing yet. Follow the turning south. So this is the way. Guess we'll have to test out bug bite on this rat. Did mean to get the um the mod where you can pacify creatures. I was looking for Joy of Painting, but it doesn't look as though Merlord has finished it as yet, which is fine. I understand something that, uh, or at least if he has, it's not on the Nexus. Seb Artemul, this is the place. Oh, a bit dank, a bit creepy in here. More Bluefoot. Or dead legionaries, jeez. Dead adventurers, rather. Well, might come in handy, too. And not worth caring right now. Where could he be? Some more footsteps. All right. It's probably him. Yendo. I knew it was you. Alright. Journal has been updated. Warhammer packs a pop. Do you have any buddies? Skuma. And pants, once again. Try these pants. Yeah, those are pretty good pants. Cheap Rising Force. Standard restore health. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of that actually. Steel short sword. Ring of vampire's kiss. Scroll of Unduce. Some hinging. Pauldron. Yeah, take it all. Okay. Uh, probably is, nope. Quality. Okay. Quality ones, it's the ones in those blue vials that seem to spoil most often. So I don't know if it's something about the vial or something about the ingredients used to make those kind of middle of the road potions. Could probably take the rest. Is that a common shirt? Common shirt. I think the same, yep, as the one we had. I have. Take the Warhammer. Can't carry the Warhammer. Come on. We are stuck. 
Never change more one. Never change. A little hard charging through here. What do we find? It's probably hot water here. Oh snap, okay, cool. Raw emerald. Hello. What's with bandits taking over the mines here? So the hot spring. What else do we got? Nothing good. stuck on a stalactite right stalagmite G for ground stalactite C for ceiling I know I've said that before but it's still true so no slaughter fish in here quite glad of that it's always a nice little treat you can just swim not have to worry about the slaughter fish this is beautiful country I think we might actually spend a fair bit more time here. If we could just find our way out of this cave. Is that? I'm starting to suspect that this rising force potion, they're usually here for a reason, but no, that's the... Oh, come on. Really? Oh, okay. Well, it's beautiful outside the caves. Still a pain in the neck to get around with him, you know. Not that caving isn't dangerous, you know, in real life, either. More dangerous in real life. Especially underwater. Better get back to camp and have our uh, stew, but is this it? Okay, I imagine there was another hallway here. We are wet, we are hungry, but we are fulfilled. We have done it. We have brought the Emperor's justice once again to some murderous lowlife. Yeah, and then there's the other guys down there. wonder if that's going to be a new quest, if that's going to lead hopefully to a commendation or something. Let's see, let's go up over the hill here. Let's see what there is to see. Since we are so terribly close to town. You have my attention. Wasn't that stylish? Yeah. <laughs> Fortify security and a bit of feather. Oh, I'm so happy. And they didn't have to do that, too. But, you know, just a nice little thing like in the West Gash. Or if you get off the road and just check out random barrels and crates and stuff, by Jove, you'll find something nice. Including a bit of heather for tea. Maybe we'll keep that other flask. I want to keep a fair supply of tea on us. Then get over... Let's see, where is... Here's Fort Bug Bag, right? Right over there. We might want to sell the other amulets then. Um, sell Icicle. Sell the helmet. That stuff needs fixed first. Wearing the pants. Leave the stuff here. In hiding. This time. Yes. And then actually with that I could probably carry Icicle. 
and not you. Why not you? Okay, telekinesis, I don't fear a pulp, come on. Let's munch something real quick. Sell the scrap metal, I think. Probably not at the fort. Um, we don't need restore health right away. We need to sell those uh, pearls and emeralds and rubies. Oh my. Um, get ready to sell that flask. I don't. I I know what I just said, but come on. Um. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Do we want backup pants? Not really. Fire salts, fire this, fire that. Come on. Drop a piece of firewood. Pete's sake. Add firewood here. Add more. Add more. Okay. Satisfecho? Sure. Come on. That's just by those ships there. Look, more firewood. Okay. Bug bag to them is probably that weird guy who lives, you know, chooses to camp out on the hill, over the water, from the fort. Like, he seems to like us well enough. What's his deal? You know? Oh, are you green like him? How wonderful. You just only ever see that in certain caves and things, you know. Now that'll be something recharging. Your bidding, sir. And now I think we can actually do some business. Maybe with the Khajiit. Some kind of reminder there. What time is it? Okay, we're going to have to call it quit soon. But I'm so pleased. This has been a very, very fortunate day. Warm greetings, the Ark Seeks. I hope you don't mind, fellow, that we want to sell this to you. And what else might you buy? Might you buy pants? No, just books. Hmm. Well, alright. Um, worth it. I'll call that a fair deal. I don't mean to offend you. Oh, and Rojana is in the main keep. This is the Navy's place. Warm greetings. Yes, but we have it. We have our sword. Does the same? Oh, no, the, the Argonian is in the Your other place. Sir. Okay, well, we'll hand in our orders. We'll do business with him. We'll call it today. Okay, um, you no longer have gold. And I will have to live with that. Neither does Black Sloth, probably. We'll deal with him tomorrow. Okay, up the stairs once more to Commander Rojana to report our success. Um, I brought Ethan Yendo to justice. Yendo is dead, good work, agent. We can't let criminals flout the laws they please. Take the spear fresh from the army. Talk, speak to me when you're ready for further orders. I'm afraid we're not yet, because we are over encumbered once again. Legion service reference. Huh? Noting their age, place of birth, time served, conduct, and sometimes stayed for death. Starting from the semi lacrim period, the record becomes patchy and incomplete. Well, we need to find a way to get all this stuff fixed. Commander, I hope you won't mind if I just leave this here. We're still over encumbered. Leave. Can't leave the Dwemer tube there. Um, 
I'll probably be back tomorrow for orders, or probably not. Flask of tea. Drink it if you want. All right. We'll keep the other flask of tea. Let's see. Um, fill container. Fill this flask. Pick that up. And I guess we'll call it a day. So, let's call that a superb, smashing, stunning success. Because we have bug bite. We have completed a quest or two. We have saved properly. And with that, fair people, I thank you all for watching. And I bid you fare well.